a little video on a new type of schizophrenic drug, a new drug for schizophrenia and possibly dementia. The new drug is called CLV-231. What is different about this drug? In the past, all the drugs we used were dopamine antagonists. What does that mean? They block dopamine in the mesolimbic tract. That was a tract that went from the top of your spinal cord in your brain, your midbrain, to somewhere in back of your frontal lobe. That caused delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech and disorganized behavior. It's called the mesolimbic limbic tract. Basically, it went from the, the ventral tegmental area. Tegmental means cover of the midbrain or the top of the midbrain. Your spinal cord goes up and, and at the top of it's the midbrain. And then it went to the back of the frontal lobe that was the mesolimbic tract that caused all the problems with schizophrenia. They blocked dopamine, D2 and D3 receptors in that tract. Here's the problem. It didn't just block dopamine in that tract. It blocked dopamine in the nigrostriatal, causing muscle spasm, tics, Parkinsonian symptoms, shuffling gait, cogwheeling, rigidity, masked faces. It could cause tardive dyskinesia, all this dystonia and bizarre eye and neck movements. It could affect the tubule infundibular tract, which is another one that is in the midbrain. That caused breast enlargement in men. Respiridol, respiridone was known for that. It caused abnormal menses in women and it caused women to produce breast milk. That's not good. So it worked great in the mesolimbic tract, but in, in the tubule infundibular Indibular tract, the nigrostriatal tract, and then in, in the mesocortical tract from the midbrain to the cortex, it caused people to be apathetic, socially withdrawn, lack of reactivity, lack of uh, spontaneity, uh, sort of shut down, apathetic, amotivated. So, yes, you treated the illness by blocking in one tract. The mesolimbic, you treated delusions, hallucinations, and uh, disorganized speech and behavior, but you had the other three tracks, the nigrostriato, the mesocortical, and the tubule infundibular tract, and we see all the side effects of that. Even the newer generations, they all block, at some level, dopamine. The older drugs, Haldol and uh, drugs like that, maybe blocked 80% of the, the D2 receptors. The newer drug were we're blocking 60%, but they also blocked the 5-HT2A receptor. So they were a little bit better, but now there's a new drug. Uh, it's a company, uh, it's Pfizer, a spinoff of Pfizer called Cerevelle, came out with the CLV-231. And what is that? Well, it's the first, it's, one, it's a new drug that does not block dopamine directly. What it does is it blocks the muscarinic 4 receptor. If you block muscarinic receptors, in previous lectures I discussed how that's an acetylcholine receptor, and when you block the muscarinic receptor, you get blurred vision, constipation, memory problems, thought problems, mental sluggishness, word finding problems, tachycardia, dry mouth, constipation, uh, difficulty initiating urination, problems with vision, blurred vision. Okay, but now this stimulates, or what they're calling now, it's not exactly an agonist, which is a pure uh, key, you know, lock and key mechanism, like here's the lock and the key. It's not like that. It's called a positive allosteric modulator, means it promotes and encourages and increases the activation of acetylcholine or uh, at that muscarinic 4 receptor. All right. Well, that's amazing because now you don't get all the side effects of all the other dopamine tracks. Because, yes, downstream this lowers dopamine. We believe in the mesolimbic tract, but it doesn't really have effects on dopamine in the other tracks nigrostriatal, mesocortical, tubule, and fundibular. That's pretty amazing. And they're also saying it's, it doesn't have histamine effects that cause weight gain. 
It doesn't have the alpha adrenergic effects, which cause orthostatic hypotension, means you get dizzy and fall. It's, it does not seem to affect the serotonergic receptors, which can cause sexual dysfunction, which can cause changes in appetite. So this is looking pretty good. So it's called CLV-231. It's made by a company, Cerevel, uh, C-E-R-V-E-L. It's a break off of uh, Pfizer. So this is just a, uh, what I found interesting and want to make the video is because listen, this is a, an M4, a muscarinic 4 positive, positive allosteric modulator. It means it promotes activity at that receptor, at the M4. Extremely unique. All the other products have always been anti-dopaminergic, D2, so anti-dopamine D2 and anti-dopamine D3, or they've had 5-HT2A receptor blockades, which is serotonergic receptor. Those are all known receptors so far. If you go back, I have another lecture on uh, the TAR, the, the, the trace amine associated receptor antagonist, which is also one, a new drug by Synovian that's coming out that does not affect the D2 receptor directly. This is very interesting and it's very hopeful for people with schizophrenia, very positive. And I think the outlook for the treatment of schizophrenia looks very, very good. I'm extremely hopeful. Um, you can get more of things I talk about on my blog at dragresti.com and buy my book on amazon.com. Thank you.